Hi, I'm Chris Gasper and this is Globe 10.0, joined today by Kevin Paul DuPont. Well, a lot of controversy in the NHL over a big hit by Milan Lucic. Saturday evening against the Buffalo Sabres, Lucic had a collision with Sabres goalie Ryan Miller. The Sabres are upset about this, saying it's open season on goalies now after NHL Dean of Discipline Brennan Shanahan declined to suspend Milan Lucic. Dupes, what do you think? Well, right move by Shannon? Well, here's right. Shannon, get it right? Yeah, Shannon's got it right. Shannon's got a lot right from Jump Street from the time he took over the job. He's done a terrific job, and I, and I like this decision in and of itself. I like it even more because he didn't bow to political pressure here, political correctness. Here's what happened. Miller comes out to the right face-off dot, left-wing face-off circle, to the dot to field a puck. Well, at that point, you know what? You're in the middle of 128. You want to play in traffic, you're vulnerable to collision. So he's out there. Now, the rule book does say these guys are protected properties, even more so than the NFL quarterbacks. Wow. But they are. That's the, possible. The, I know. But the rule book does say they're vulnerable to incidental contact. So at that point of the collision, and you know, you can parse this down a million different ways, at that point of collision, the, the on ice official asks himself is it incidental contact? or is it intentional? They give them a two minute minor, so they're saying it's intentional. Not so awful though, it's a five minute major or it's a game misconduct. It goes up as a two minute minor to Shanahan, he looks at it and he calls it incidental contact. You know, so, not, not a big deal, and you know what? It wasn't a big deal. Lindy Ruff tried to gin up the process here. I don't blame him, that's what coaches do. Lindy Ruff was embarrassed that his team didn't respond. That's what it's about. So here's my only question on this one, I guess, Dupes, would be yeah. if this is Tim Thomas, does everybody feel the same way? Because he comes out yeah, as much oh. as anybody. And if he gets run, uh, are Bruins fans going to be upset? Because I think that's the issue. I, I hope it's a logic issue and not a laundry issue. Because I have a feeling if no. that were Tim Thomas, that it would be flipped, not by you, but that a lot of Bruins fans are saying, hey, oh. you know, the Sabres are soft, stop complaining, don't be crybabies. Because Thomas, I mean, that's the Bruins MVP, yeah. reigning Vezina Very winner. Point. Con Smythe guy. So what happens here, I think everything you said is right by the by the rule book, but if there's a game this year where Thomas gets run, I, I don't want to hear, oh right. no, you gotta protect the goalies because well, this is not, you know, gonna, gonna, by the rule book, that's that you know, right. you go out in traffic like you said. You're absolutely gonna hear it from fandom, and it it, it is it is a 50-50, 55, 60, 40, whatever you want to make it in terms of interpretation. I will tell you this, because I've been around Julian long enough, I doubt Julian would pull what Lindy Ruff did. Lindy Ruff, and let's not let's not forget too, if that's a tomato can, if that's Blaine Locker too in that. Everybody kind of shrugs. Sure, but I think it's Miller for the Sabres, Thomas player. for the Bruins, I think those guys are comparable in their value to the team. Absolutely. So if some, you know, if Absolutely. the Sabres go and run Thomas, the other, you know, in this upcoming game right before Thanksgiving, don't don't complain about it because this is what's, you know, basically the NHL is saying, you guys settle it yourselves.